In this video, we learn how to create dynamic stamps in Android and allow user to choose uh, one of these stamps. And when user closes the app and open again, uh, selected stamp will uh, remain and saved in preferences. Create a new project and name it uh, dynamic stamps. First, go to colors and add uh, some colors. We want three colors for uh, every theme that we want. Uh, a color primary, a color primary dodge, and a color secondary. We add some colors that we want. We copy and paste it. We want to create uh, four themes. So we add uh, three colors for each of the uh, themes that we want. Now go to themes and create uh, four uh, styles for our four dynamic themes. And choose a name and set uh, its parent to be our uh, main theme parent. And add uh, three items. We can add more items, but uh, we just add three items. A color primary, which we pass our uh, color primary for them one that we define in our colors. A color primary dodge, and a color secondary, which we use our uh, colors that we defined on our on our colors file. We copy this uh, term and paste it three times and just uh, change the names to dynamic term two, three, and four. Now we created our four terms. Add a new drawable, new vector asset, and choose the lens icon. Set it to 50 dp and to be white. Now go to our uh, layout. In this layout, we add a uh, four image button to for for user to select on select them, click on them, and uh, choose uh, app them dynamically. Uh, to do that, create a linear layout with a uh, horizontal orientation and create an uh, image button. Set its source to drawable that we just uh, add and set uh, weight. Set background tint to white and tint to our uh, color primary of our uh, four terms that we created. Copy and paste three times. We just add a floating action button so we can see uh, color secondary on our terms. Now, go to our main activity, define our uh, four image uh, or four uh, image buttons, and define a shared preferences object, jet references of our uh, four image buttons. We want chillage event for these four image buttons, so we implement or main activity have to implement on uh, chillage listener and uh, override on chillage method. We add a BTN that's set on chillage listener and this for our four buttons.
before set content views uh, we we change the app theme we have to change the app theme before set content view method uh, is uh, uh, called so we get a uh, we create our shared preferences object and we create a variable and get a, an integer from our shared preferences an integer with a chi selected term and default value 0 and that's called set dynamic term and paths selected term now we create this uh, set dynamic term method In this method, we use a switch statement. When selected term equals to one, we want to change the main activity term to term dynamic term one, which we defined in our uh, styles. We use main activity that is that set term and pass or a style. We do the same for our uh, for uh, our three next terms. Now it's time to override on chilish method. Use a switch statement. If image button one chilish, we want to. Uh, set something in our shared preferences first to uh, first we create an editor of shared preferences if image button one chilish we want to put an integer in our shared preferences with g select a term and value one and we do the same for our three next uh, image buttons and just change the value after that we apply the changes and just close this activity and start this activity again so changes will uh, show now run the app this is our four uh, image buttons and eventually on them uh, app them dynamically changes and uh, when we close the app and open it again we can see that uh, the selected term is stored in shared references. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching.